very good morning to all of you and today is day 21 right which is the last day of this 21 days prayer and fasting journey right and i pray that this is the last day of these 21 days but this will also be uh, uh, a big the beginning of this journey in your personal walk with god that you will continue to incorporate fasting and also have time to pray right and also time to read his word amen today let me share to you a short devotional topic that i want to entitle it be a real runner be a real runner okay it's taken from first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 and i want to read 24 and 25. here it says do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. You know that in life actually we are all having our so-called race, right? You are running the race of this life. Uh, Every one of us is in our pace. Some of you are in a very stressful pace, fast pace, slow pace. But the thing is, we are running all kinds of race. You are running the race for your company, for your study, for your school, you know. But a lot of the race that we are able to run in this world, we obtain the perishable crown. And just like the race that Paul trying to describe here, uh, and to give us an illustration of the athlete run the race, like a sports term, right? That kind of crown is perishable. Right? And from here, I want to point out two things. The first is the crown of the race. The crown of the race. The real runner, especially the runner who run for Christ, the real runner run for the real crown. Right? And that is the imperishable one. I know in this world, we have all kinds of race that we need to run. But there's one race. The moment that you say yes to Jesus, you are in that race. But are you running? Are you running? Or are you slacking, right? Or are you just looking around, enjoying the scenery and walking, right? What kind of attitude? Because Paul say, everyone run, but only one get a prize. In the ancient Greek, you know, uh, uh, Greek, they are the people of uh, very famous for their physical fitness, you know, uh, they really value on the perfection of the body and fitness and all. Even the first Olympic actually was held in Greek. Uh, in Greece. So recently we just ended our Olympic, right? And at the Olympic in the modern days, you normally you see three prizes, bronze, silver, gold. But during the ancient time, all run, one get the prize. Only one. And not only that, it's a perishable crown. But right now, we are all invited and we are already participating in this race that God called us to run. Right? To, to, to serve, to win soul, you know, to live out the calling God called us to, to live. And all this, we will do it to obtain something that is imperishable. To run this race in such a way that we will obtain something that is imperishable. So it's not just about joining, but it's about running with that price in mind. Real runner runs like that. You know, when I was uh, still joined, when I was joined a lot of uh, marathon last time, right? Uh, to be honest, most of the marathon that I joined, I have never thought of I will be number one. Right? I'm sure you can understand, right? So we we join sometimes it's just for the experience. We join for for uh, enjoying the the friendship with other, I mean, uh, enjoying the friendship, you know, fellowship with the brothers and sisters who joined during that time. And I I joined also, I remember with uh, uh, Brother Richard and uh, some of the Chinese members and the English members, we joined together just for the fellowship and for the fun of it, right? And sometimes we take some sell fee, we fee, all kinds of fee, you know. So we we pay fee to to do all this. Yeah, it's just for, for fun. Right, we we didn't run with that price in mind. I want to get the price, and yeah, to be honest, sometimes even we believers, the moment we participate in this race, we can run in this kind of attitude. We just 
enjoy our pace, walk, look around. When we feel like running, we run. When everything is ended, probably alpha is ended, this is ended, we stop you know, and chill. You know. So, are we continue to run the race? What, I, what, what do I mean by running the race? As in like we live for Him every moment of our life. Him as our priority, His calling, His work, His word, all as the priority of our life, right? To, to do in service, to win soul. Uh, every agenda is about doing things and living for Jesus. And that is the race that we are called to run. We need to, call, we need to run that race faithfully and obediently, right? And in order to do that, to run in such a way, with God that is so emphasized and magnified in the agenda and schedule of our life and everything, there's one thing is needed. And apart from the crown of the race, the second one is the condition for the race. The condition for the race. Yeah, there's something that is needed because the olden days, uh, in the olden days, the, talking about the athlete, even I'm sure right now, all the athletes, when they want to run the race, everything revolves on that race. It's, it's not just about the practice time when they are running on, <coughs> running on the course, but even their schedule, their sleeping time, their diet, the food, everything revolves around that race. Yes, and that priority changes every aspect, everything, every schedule, every time that they learn, they, they choose to invest every decision that they make. Yeah, and that is the condition. And even later on, later on, Paul said he bring that 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 discipline, the body, and bring it into subjection. Why? Because the body always disagree. This flesh always disagree with the cause of that race. And we need to learn to bring it to subjection, to be disciplined, uh, to have the spiritual training. In Timothy say. Right, so that we can complete and finish that race well. Right? So first thing we need to know is we run the race and remember there's an imperishable crown. We always spend a lot of time and go all out for all the perishable crown. But don't miss out that price. That is not only one will get it, but everyone who is faithful and obedient until the very end all will also have that crown, right? To live out, to win soul, to serve Him with all our heart. And the second one is remember the condition. Everything in this world will tell you, urge you, move you, change you, mold you to be the fake runner so that you only run for the perishable crown. But God wants us to be the real runner so that we need to learn to be disciplined, self-control, you know, ask God for His grace to, to change, to overcome, so that we bring this flesh into subjection or for the race that God called us to run. So that in the end, we will run our race, you know, finish our race and also keep our faith until the very end. We are not supposed to be you know, just run for fun, take some picture along the way and just enjoy this pace. But we need to learn to run the race with endurance and perseverance and run this race with God's grace for our pace. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for all of you. I pray that, yes, we know, especially in these 21 days, we pray for the Alpha a lot. We pray for the church and, and different, different prayer items, right? And some of you probably, you may feel tired, burnt out, exhausted. And I want to pray. I want to pray that you may receive God's grace for the pace to run the race. It is not easy, but remember, Along, along the way, it is not easy. Even when we run marathon, it is not easy. But we don't give up. We keep on moving. And we also 
one thing that is very, very important in the journey. We need to know our source of strength. We need to learn to renew our strength. Spend time with God. This one sounds like a basic thing, but it's a very important thing. If, uh, if every believer learn to spend time with God, read His Word and pray, I'm, I, I mean, if every believer in the church does that, I'm sure the church will explode. Yes, so continue and don't give up to run this race and run in such a way that you are aiming for that prize, the imperishable crown. So learn to run this race with the help of God and ask God for His grace to finish our race. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to thank you, O Lord, for the privilege to be in the race, O Lord. Lord, we, we want to ask for your help, ask for your grace, for the pace in the race, so that, Lord, we will keep our faith and run until the very end. Lord, I thank God, O Lord, even for these 21 days of prayer and fasting. But I pray this is just a starter and every one of us who participate will continue this spiritual habit in our journey of faith, O oh Lord, so that, Lord, they will encounter you more and more. We will be empowered by you. We will learn to live according to the Spirit, O oh Lord. Lord, we will learn to put this flesh, flesh into subjection, O oh Lord, so we can live only for you. And everything, every schedule, every time, every program, every decision, everything, O oh Lord, will revolve upon the, the heart and the mind and the priority of living our life for you. That we will shoulder our cross not the half cross, modified cross, but a full cross to follow you, O Lord. Lord, I pray, O Lord, that you will bless us and use us and empower us for your glory. Thank you, Lord. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.